Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to, I don't know what to call this, um, maybe a first look video. I'm not sure what to call it. Um, I got a big box of new stamps and dies and just fun products from Art Impressions. And I'm actually kind of late to the game on this one because I got this box a few weeks ago. And I just opened it up because I was in the mood to do some coloring and I just saw this huge mound of new stamps and Art Impressions always does such an amazing job with innovative interactive cards and stamp sets. And so I wanted to show you guys what this entire release is, um, especially because there's so many awesome, amazing products at, that I couldn't ever get to all of them. So, but I did want to show them all to you. So I think I'm gonna call these first looks and maybe I'll do this in the future if you guys like it. So let me know in the comments if you like this video. Maybe I can do it for um, other companies as well. I know Jennifer McGuire does her, I think she calls them walkthroughs or something like that. Um, but so I guess it's, it's a similar idea, but this is just my first look at these. So um, our impressions. Okay, so I'm gonna move some of these off camera here so I can get organized a little bit. And so, so this looks like this release has Halloween and Christmas in it, which I'm so excited about. Okay, so looks like there's quite a few of these mouthfuls, which, let's see, stamps, dies, and instructions. Okay, so it's like little characters that have little things you can put in their mouths. And it has all the dies. I love that they package their dies with the stamp sets now. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see this a little better. Um, I just think it's super, and it just, I love the convenience of it. And I also really lo always love their packaging because they have the images colored so that you get an, an example of how you could color if you want to do it that way. So you know where all the shading is and things like that. So this is the cat mouthful set, adorable have a little hamster. It's got pizza. Looks like there's pizza, candles, a little hat. Um, I love the little envelope here. That's cute. Age only matters if you're a cheese. I think that's hilarious. So really cute. The images are nicely sized with the dice. Okay, this is really cute. Look at this. A little dinosaur. This is the dino mouthful set. Lots of different sports and a little birthday cake. I love this. May all your swishes come true. <laughs> Adorable. Okay. Oh, for all you puppy fans out there, this one is dog mouthful set. Life's short. Eat the cookie. <laughs> Happy birthday from the dog. No bones about it. Your top dog. Super cute sentiments. Has all the, looks like it cuts out everything except the dog. So it cuts out all the stuff that you would put in his mouth. I think that's how the other ones are too. Yeah. It only, they only cut out the objects that would go in the mouth. So you, you'd probably stamp the critter on your card and then maybe put the little accessories on it. Okay, and the last one I think, I think it's the last one here, is the kangaroo mouthful set. So cute, happy birthday to Roo. Rumor has it you're a year older. These are adorable. I love the flowers and there's balloons. So cute. Once again, this is the kangaroo mouthful set. Okay, now I'm going to go into their watercolor line. There's quite a few here, and they've been doing um, some videos over on their YouTube channel showing the watercolor line. Bonnie, who is the illustrator, she, she does all of the illustration for their line, which is amazing. I mean, she's just epic <laughs> with all the illustrations she does. Um, anyway, she does the watercoloring videos over there. So... This is kind of fun. Okay, so here are some fence dies. Mine got a little moved in here, but you can kind of see the fence designs here. I think it's really nice for building scenes. This is the bird bath set. And I love that there's examples of what you can create with it. Um, using like a water-based die marker, you can just ink up the clean stamp and then create a watercolor scene. This one's a cute little bench set. Branches set. Oh, I'm going to love this. This is really cute. 
and you can like add a little bird or something. I think that'd be really pretty for some holiday cards. Rustic cabins. Oh, this is great because I've seen so many watercolors, um, like really large watercolor paintings where there's a little cabin in a landscape scene. And I'm like, I don't want to paint a cabin. So this would save me all that time. Um, oh, this is great. You can build your own fir tree. This is fir tree set. And I love that. I mean, if you, if you didn't want to stamp all the foliage, all the branches, you could just do the trunk and then just paint around it. Oh, here's the puppies. I was wondering, this is the dogs set so cute they have a lot of different um, stamps there like a container or that bench you saw earlier where you can add the animals on top cottages set and then this one is mini cottages so oh I see the size difference these are the regular size and then these are the mini and then fall set these are great additions to their line I really like that Okay, so now we're going to go into some other ones that are like the character ones. And these are always so playful. Okay, okay, Wiggle Wobbles. Is that what these are? Yeah, so they're, oh, how funny. The His torso is separate. And then his legs, oh, I get it now. Okay, I get it. They're always, like I said before, with interactive sets. Okay, so they have these little brads. Remember these? If you've been crafting a long time, brads were really big about... I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, maybe 12. Anyway, so they have these little brads. So you can put these little hinges on, you know, the areas of his body that would kind of wiggle around. So fun. And it looks like it does give you the, a little mini action wobbler and it gives you the brads too, the little hinges. That's kind of fun. So it cuts out the legs and all that. Okay, so it looks like you have to stamp the foot twice and the top of his leg twice in order to do that. How fun. So this is the same idea. Oh, this one was called Cowboy Wiggle Wobble. This one is Dancer Wiggle Wobble, and it's the same idea with the the legs and whatever. I think it's so fun. I'm going to have to make one of these. Okay, here's a frog. This is Toad Wiggle Wobble. This is so cool because you get, I love it, you get the stamp the action wobbler and the brads. Adorable. Okay, Flamingo. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday, Flock Star. Adorable. <laughs> this is the Flamingo Wiggle Wobble. Oh, this will be fun for Halloween. Skeleton Wiggle Wobble. How cool is that? Okay, so it looks like it's just slightly smaller. It looks like this is more real size right here, the, just the outline. How fun. Oh, I'm seeing some cats. Love the cats. Okay. Um, this is pack your bags. And I will, you know, they're not going to fit on camera because they're taller. So I'm just going to zoom in and then show you the entire set. Bon voyage. Oh, my word. Cruising. I love cruising. Live life on cruise control. I love it. Such a fun stamp set. You can see all those images. These are the clear stamps. Okay, this one is road trip set. I think Bonnie was in a mood to go on a vacation. I think that's what this is telling us. When she was illustrating all these, she was thinking about going on a vacation. This is so fun. These would be really great for any scrapbookers out there that want to document their road trip. Adorable. The images are pretty good size too, so you could like stamp them all along in a row. Okay, Christmas. Love their Christmas stuff. It looks like it has some of those girlfriends images that we all love. It's the ladies. Really good images in here to make yourself a Christmas card. So cute. Oh my word. Look, a little dog and two cats singing. Love this. I might have to set this aside for the holiday card series this year. What a cute set. And I love that you can build the whole scene together. So cute. Oh my word, the little snowman sitting down. So cute. Okay, this one was Christmas Wonder Set. This one is Girlfriend Christmas Set. Yeah, if you have a particular set you want to see me use, put it in the comments below too. Sparkle and Cheer. Okay, Mark, look at this. 
So cute. The little snowman kissing. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, some Halloween. Looks like the next few are Halloween and then Thanksgiving. I love this, like, wonky house that's falling apart. Love it. Okay, do you guys remember these owls from a few years ago? I remember Kathy Raccoon just loved all of the owls. And then look, it's a fox, a pig, and a raccoon. So cute. It's a really good bat. That's a good size. A lot of bat stamps are really, really small or really big. This is a nice medium size. Spooky sneaks for Halloween treats. Adorable. That's the Happy Haunting set. Spooktacular set. I love this. And look at these. They're all dancing. Shake, rattle, and roll. I love Halloween stamps, but I don't really send Halloween cards. So I don't know what to do. I guess I could just send Halloween cards to my card making friends because <laughs> they'll appreciate it, right? There we go. All right, we've got Thanksgiving and then we'll into Christmas and then one that's more of a generic. This is full of thanks. Oh my word, look at the turkey. He has glasses with a nose on. It's hilarious. How I feel after Thanksgiving. <laughs> that's awesome. So full of thanks. Ate too much. It's Thanksgiving time to dress the turkey. <laughs> I love these. So witty. So that's full of thanks. This one is Santa Paws. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys need to see these closer up. Look at this. Dear Santa, please don't bring any bring me any clothes. <laughs> oh, oh, I know so many people who have little wiener dogs like that. So cute. Merry Christmas from the dog. Here comes Santa Paws. Deck the halls with bow wows. Oh my gosh. I know so many people who have dogs that would love this. Okay, and then this is a holy moly set. Oh my gosh, it's a mole. Another birthday, holy moly. <laughs> I could be a morning person if morning came around noon. <laughs> Digging in the dirt is the best therapy. Oh my word, how cute is this? So unusual. Okay, so there's one more of these and then I'll get into the pop-up cards. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she did a set that was dogs that were like get well uh, that I've used in the past. And so here it is with cats. Oh my word, this is hilarious. I'm a lamp. <laughs> Frankly, I'm over all this sickness business. I heard there's been a catastrophe. Get better soon. Oh my word, look at the cute little kitty. Meowch. <laughs> I'm going to need you to get better, meow. So cute. Stay positive. Okay, so. Oh, and that was, yeah, catastrophe set. All right, so now we're getting to the pop-up cards, which I haven't shown here on my YouTube channel or blog yet, but I really want to do one, so maybe now's the time to do it. Okay, this is Kitten Vanity Pop-Up, or Pop Card. So you can kind of see how you build it down here. And it does have instructions. It's kind of hard to see through the stamps and dies, but it's written below. It walks you through how to create the card, and there's a diagram at the top showing you how to assemble it. So how cute is that? Those images are so cute. I love the kitties. Okay, here's a Halloween Pop-Up. Looks like it pops up and it's the house and then this little girl comes peeking out. Little witch, so cute. Haunted Mansion Pop Card. That's what this one's called. Okay, you guys know I love these snowmen. This is the Singing Snowman Pop Cards. How cute is that? Pop Card Template Die Sold Separately. So you do have to get the pop-up die, I guess. And I think I already have one because I think they've done some of these in the past. How cute. That's a uh, singing snowman. This one is tea party. How pretty. Like you could use all of the images without putting them in the pop-up card. I think it'd be really pretty. It looks like there are some additional ones too, like the little teacups. You could do them separate. And then we have a floral birdhouse pop-up. I love all these roses. Those would be so pretty to watercolor and I love the birds. They're so cute. <laughs> Little bee. 
He's adorable. All right, and then these last two are trifold. You guys know I love trifold. So here's a Christmas one with a cat. Like, hello, I will probably be using that. I love the little, um, what are those called? Not a wreath, but is that a swag? Is that what they're called? So cute. You can see, you can see here at the bottom how it progresses. So you have the outer window on the front of the card, then you have the curtains on the first inside panel, and then all the way on the inside you have the kitty with the tree. So cute. So this one is Winter Window. So cute. And then this one is, oh my word, there's another cat. She, Bonnie knows me. She must have cats herself, right? Because she has more cats than dogs <laughs> in her stamps. So this one is the Halloween Treats. And you have, looks like the front door and then kind of like a table with all of the treats on top. And then inside you have the cat and a pumpkin. So cute. Okay, so this is the latest release from Art Impressions. All of these are adorable. I could picture myself using every single one. And they do so many inventive things like the new Wiggle Wobbles I think are so fun. I can't wait to put one together and kind of see how they work. I think this is such a fun release and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, like I said before, if you enjoy videos like this and want to see some other kind of walkthroughs or first looks, as I think I'll call them, uh, let me know down in the comments because if it's not something you're interested in, then no problem. I won't do these. Um, but if it is something you like, then let me know. Um, you can get these Art Impression stamps over at their website, and I think Simon Says Stamp has a selection of them as well. They don't usually stock a ton at Simon, but if you have any particular ones you're loving, I can definitely put a good word in and they can stock a bunch more. And also, if it sells out but it's still in the store, that means they're ordering more and it will come back very soon. There is a notify me option at Simon Says Stamp that you can ask to be notified when they're back in stock too. Thanks so much for watching today. I will catch you guys in a new video coming soon. It will not be one of these. It'll be an actual card making video like usual. Um, thanks for watching today's video and I'll catch you guys next time.